I have been totally impressed at how you can buy these sprayers and how much value they retain. I think I've owned eight new Apache sprayers, and uh, I don't trade them because they're bad. I trade them because you know I get along well with them, and, and the upgrades, the innovation they've had through the years really has done a good job for me. And then the trade-in on the Apaches is just fantastic. In fact, about four of my Apache sprayers that I've traded in wound up on neighbor's farms because they see me operate mine and how well I get along with it and how successful I am with the spray jobs and see my spray jobs. And so they have no trouble selling my used machines because they know the reputation. I think the retain value just goes to show uh, how well these machines can hold up and how long they'll last. I've kept track of how much my machine's still worth today and actually I could sell it for about 20,000 more than what I bought it for three years ago. I mean, it makes a big difference if you know if you go buy a new pickup and drive it off the lot, and then drive it you, by the time you time the warranty's going, the pickups wore out, and it's not worth a whole lot. The sprayer, uh, the Apache sprayer anyway, seems to be holding up in value. I just traded a little over a year and a half ago, and it held up real well. I got most of my original investment back. The fact that those sprayers hold their value uh, as they get some age and some, some hours on them uh, is one of those things that uh, cheapens our price point up when we go to trade because they still have great market value at the end of that five years or whatever it is when we decide we're going to roll them and, into a new one and uh, that uh, next buyer can, can take that to the field and, and may not push it quite as hard as what we have but can still be a very useful productive sprayer for them for a long term.